Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This eye, having axial length of 30 on millimeter, is highly myopic. Selected intraocular lens is a sensor multipiece of minus 4 diopter. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and the methyl cellulose is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision and this is capsular axis. A uterator forceps is being used to make a puncture at the center of the capsule raise the capsular tag and use this capsular tag to do a continuous carfilinear capsular axis. And now hydro dissection is done. 27 gauge cannula and BSS is used to do hydro dissection. Fluid wave goes to the opposite equator. Hydro delineation was attempted but no golden ring was seen in this case. And now I am going to use a pre chopper. Again, some more visco. Now let us pre chop this nucleus. In my left hand is Akahoshi's sustainer, and in my right hand is Sohel's pre chopper. And here it goes. The two instruments meet and see how beautifully we can divide this soft nucleus. In a few seconds, the lens mass has been divided into almost two equal halves. If we use stop and chop technique in this case, it will take at least two minutes to make a groove and then divide this nucleus into two halves. And now the tip of the phaco needle goes into the anterior chamber and within a minute the two halves can be managed. Just hold on half and emulsify since this is a soft cataract and this half is tilted and it is eaten off. So a lot of time has been saved by this instrument. And now visco again and the cortex is to be cleaned. I take a 23G Simco cannula for a removal of the cortex. See how beautifully it comes by this very simple instrument. It's almost done and now in the other half we have only one side port. So if we want to use bimanual we have to make one more side port. And now let's go again to fill off the anterior chamber and then the main wound is enlarged to about 3.2 millimeter because we are going to use a multipiece intraocular lens. It needs a B cartridge to implant this lens and it is always better to enlarge the main wound so that the tip of the cartridge goes into the anterior chamber. And this is how we fold the lens in the cartridge. The leading haptic goes this way. The lens is folded and the piston pushes the lens 
bit forward and now the tip of the cartridge goes into the anterior chamber and the intraocular lens is screwed out. This is a screw device and here the leading haptic has gone into the capsular bag put some visco over the anterior surface take a Macpherson's forceps hold the trailing haptic and place it in the bag and now some more visco and now is the time to clean the visco the 23G Simco is used to clean most of the visco at this time you can see the people has become quite small I go behind the intraocular lens see the edge of the lens is so thick edge is thick and the central part is thin this is a concave lens minus 4 diopter concave lens is being placed in the capsular bag because the eye is highly myopic 31 millimeter is the actual length and now I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove some more visco this is the irrigating cannula it goes in irrigation is carried out for a few seconds and then the aspirating cannula goes in and irrigation and aspiration are together for some time for a few seconds so visco cleaning is complete this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the corneal stroma on other side of the side port is hydrated so that these paracentesis wound gets closed now we are towards the end of the surgery so in this case the pre-chopper has helped a lot this pre-chopper has been designed by Dr. Sohil Irfan Mohammad Khan from Nandit Maharashtra India very proud of him this is formation of the anterior chamber then the integrity of the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied with the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills always try new things and increase your skills always have new equipments in your armamentarium so that you can do better job you can save time be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical competence